Hi, we're here with Ed Bell, Project Manager for Preservation Timber Framing. Ed, can you tell us a little bit what Crane Day will be like? Yeah, uh, Crane Day is going to be uh, an eventful day for us. Um, we've got a, a Keeley outfit. They're going to be coming down from Portland, Maine. And they've got one of their big boy cranes coming for us. Um, we need around 160 feet of reach, so it's quite a large crane. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to have them drive in from, uh, from the driveway here. And they're going to set up, we've got two track trailer loads, just a counterweights, just to, to have enough to fly this tower down. And uh, once they're set up, there's uh, a whole bunch of things we got to do in sequence in order to safely fly the tower. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is fly up our load-bearing timbers. And as you can see here, these are our uh, four large 24-foot 7x12s. And um, you may not be able to see it from down here, but we're landing them on lifting brackets that we use typically to, to hold buildings in place. And that will secure them so we can through bolt them through the belfry tower posts. And once they're secured, we have to go through kind of an ornate rigging system to support the, the belfry posts and the belfry above it and the lanterns and a whole bunch of things. So there'll be a little bit of a downtime while we're setting prepping for rigging. And then uh, once we get the green light, everyone's happy. We are gonna pull the tower out and it's like kind of like removing a cork from a bottle of wine. Well, I'm gonna have to pick it up actually 14 feet out of the tower box itself. And we'll swing it over here and we've actually built temporary bed timbers to accept the tower. And um, as you can see, it's a little wider than it is for to accept some down bracing, some diagonal bracing. And we will hold it secure and that will take us to a comfortable place where we can start the restoration of the tower and make sure that everything is, uh, is happy and healthy.